Minimats.com, made by us. Well, there's a hair there. <laughs> Minimats.com, made by us, designed by you. Enter the code YugiJesus on Minimats.com for 10% off of your order. You can also enter the code YugiJesus, the same code on LDBDuel.com for $5 off of your order. Both of them make custom stuff. You can put whatever you want on their products. You will see my review of this deck box soon. Man, LDB Duel makes some good stuff. Metamats makes the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, shoot, what more could you want? Today, we are gonna be doing the confessions. I have to scroll all the way up on my Discord and my confessions channel on my Discord. I stay out of this confessions channel so you guys can get my genuine reactions on your worst and most egregious Yu-Gi-Oh! sins. And uh, I have a lot to catch up on, so uh, I'm in for it today. Let's scroll up and just get right into it. Forgive me, Yugi Hellspawn. What this? Dude, this guy's always trying to antagonize me. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Hellspawn, for I have sinned when I was like nine or 10 and got my first structure deck, the Monarch one. I stayed up all night singing about how, how I was an Aztec Yami Yugi <laughs> and how I would win with Mask of the Accursed against everyone else, even mentioned Yuma until my dad came into the room and shouted at me to go to sleep. I regret nothing, but it's still a sin <laughs> because I woke my dad up doing this. Yeah, maybe, I mean, it's cool to be excited about Yu-Gi-Oh and all, but maybe don't be uh, that excited. Probably had to go to work in the morning, dude. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> for once, I am not confessing a sin, but pleasing, I think he meant to type pleading, for forgiveness of one sins. The one I'm talking about is Orcus Harp Horror, or he is at three in the OCG and in Master Duel, yet over here still banished in the Forbidden List. I beg thee, please bring my boy back. I'm itching to play Orcus again. Yeah, um, Konami has this bad, bad, terrible, terrible habit of leaving things on the ban list for way too long. Don't ask me why they do it. It's like this, it, well, I, I do know why they do it. I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's like this overcautious uh, precaution that they take to make sure that their new product isn't getting usurped by the old stuff in any way whatsoever. They want you to buy new stuff. That, that That's what it is. So, um, when it comes to unbanning it, um, I mean, it's going to come unlocked, uh, you know, at some point. I I don't know when, but uh, it it should have came off like, yeah, over a year ago or something. Yeah, it's, it's been on there for way too long. Another sin for you, Yuki. Said, you know what? You're just trying to antagonize me. I'm not, I'm not reading all of yours. You're just trying to get my attention. I'm going to keep scrolling. <laughs> Hello, Yugi Jesus. I have come to inform you not of a sin but a time where I lacked the ability to stand or defend myself. Oh no, so you were a kid, around third grade, yeah. I had a friend I played Yu-Gi-Oh! and Beyblade with, and unfortunately there were times he had stolen from me. Yeah, man, those people, you just got, you can't talk to them. Like, uh, sociopaths, uh, kleptos, you know, whatever, narcissists, you can't, you can't talk to them at all. Like, you have to, like, let them wallow in their misery until they fix themselves. Or, if they're that sociopathic, they never fix themselves and just don't ever talk to them. Ever. Don't. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> the time I remember was when I saw a copy of Cyber Dragon Core in his dresser, which is a card I knew he couldn't have because he never got the Cyber Dragon structure deck, and I did. Now, I wasn't crying over a copy of Core, especially considering at the time I didn't see the value of effects and only cared about attack points. Yeah, I remember those days. You know, blue eyes, big monster, go burr. Yeah, I, I, I get it. <laughs> we were so disconnected with real Yu-Gi-Oh! We almost done it as many times as we wanted. Yeah, yeah, playground rules, playground rules. And Dimension Princess in our decks. But anyways, I confronted him a few times but he always denied it, of course. I never had the courage to steal my stuff back. Yeah, you just gotta giga chat and, and just know you're right and, and steal your stuff back. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. There are times where I have to treat people like shit because they are too stupid to be treated otherwise. I hate having to do it, but it's just the nature of the beast here. Which I regret, especially the Beyblades, because those are expensive now, I'll bet. He was in first grade, so it's not too surprising, but it sucked. Yeah, especially a younger friend. So you were in third grade, yeah, a younger friend, more mature. Yeah, um, and, the, and often those those kids come from uh, bad homes, and they have it way worse than you do, you know? Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned at locals today. I won the last round of the tournament by getting my opponent to 500 life, life points and summoning, not cowboy? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Flare Metal Dragon in main phase two. He did not have Dark Ruler or Imperm. 
that's not a sin, dude. The cowboying for game, flare dragon for game. That's just, that's just good strategies, man. Just get that last little little bit of life because there's nothing more frustrating than when you basically won the duel and your opponent top decks something super sacky and they win when you should have already won. So get making sure that you get that win with something like Flare or Gaga Ga Cowboy. It's it's necessary. It's a necessary evil, but it's not evil. I love doing that. I love ghost rares. I own at least 25 of them. But of the ghost rares that I actually pulled, which is three, I only legitimately pulled the ghost honor arc. I borrowed my mother's electric scale. Yeah, in, in those days of scaling packs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I scaled packs before. We've all done it. At least uh, us that have been around in the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, scene or whatever for a long time, we've all done it. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with scaling packs, foils weigh more than commons, and uh, guaranteed foils used to not be a thing. Um, you know, uh, used to not pull a super rare in every single pack. So you would scale the packs, and the heavier packs would be the ones with the foils in them, so you'd know which uh, packs to get out of the whole box. Yeah. <laughs> I borrowed my mother's electric scale to scale the mini boxes in order to pull Ghost Rare Firewall Dragon and Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon. Cool stuff, cool stuff. It is kind of a sin because, you know, some kid now is not going to have that magic moment because you already pulled the, uh, the foils out. But, I mean, we, we've all done it. Go Hail Mary or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, my Lord and Savior, for I have sinned. And pray I don't end in oblivion by Exodia or you, my Lord. I was doing with my friend who hasn't played since we were nine. Oh, oh boy, that's fun. And he had an Exodia deck with the support for it in his deck. And I proceeded to troll and roll on his ass with my Salaman Great deck, yeah. <laughs> While eating a salad <laughs> with sliced boiled eggs, bacon bits, etc. And told him sorry. Because I had a green thumb for making salad in a great deck. I pray that you forgive me, smiting my foolish friend for playing an outdated deck and cast my own <laughs> cast my own divine judgment in your name to show him that I will no not show mercy on him. Amen. <laughs> He's kicking his ass. He's kicking his friend's ass playing salad while eating a salad. That's 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 the moral of the story. <laughs> forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I have fun building decks around a banned card. Metam oh, I have fun building decks around banned cards and using them to beat bots at EDO Pro rather than playing actual card or game of Master Duel. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, uh, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I use the simulator in EDO Pro way more than I actually ever play. Uh, it's, it's actually hard to play on EDO Pro because everyone just quits. And then uh, playing on Dueling Book, it takes an hour to finish one game, let alone a match, <laughs> it feels like. Yeah, so I, I, there's not a whole lot of dueling online for me. I'm sure Master Duel is great and it seems great, but like, uh, I'm not spending money on fake cards. Uh, I don't even like spending money on real cards. I'm Yugi Jesus. <laughs> the next comment goes, not gonna lie, this is based. <laughs> just, dueling, just dueling the AI with banned cards. Like, <laughs> just do, how, about, how about just duel your friends, you know, with, with, with banned cards, you know what I mean? Or play past formats. Like, uh, me and my friends play 2002 format all the time. Um, it's, it's, it might be my favorite format to play, you know, over goats even maybe, I don't know, it depends on the day, but like, um, yeah, you get to play banned cards like Pot of Greed and stuff, you know, so. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, since trap lollies are being played with rank 2 turbo. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I am planning on making an FTK list with Rescue Ferret and Fire Ferret. Just, just good, good luck. Just good luck. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. I play OCG cards instead of TCG cards and TCG matches because they are cheaper. So, that's actually really interesting you bring that up. Uh, I was just talking about old formats, and in old formats it's, it's pretty uh, common and it's pretty, uh, um, uh, I don't know, acceptable by everybody to play OCG cards, play Japanese cards or whatever in the duel because everybody knows what the cards do anyways and it doesn't really matter, it's a past format. And I actually really like that about past formats that nobody cares, everybody knows the, the card pool, you know, yada yada. And, and honestly, I don't think anybody should care about OCG cards played in tournaments nowadays. We all have phones and can translate, it doesn't, it's the same card. It's, it's not like you printed a proxy and put it in a sleeve, it's the same card. Yeah, I, I'm all for allowing uh, OCG cards um, to be played um, in tournaments. I, I, I don't see any problem with it. I just think it's a money thing. And uh, money is just, it's, it's stupid to me. <laughs> I, I hate every, uh, like, I hate everybody who cares about money too much. It's just, it cringes me out and I just, I lose interest in anything that they're about. But long story short, if you guys find me at a tournament or play against me ever and you say I'm playing Japanese cards, 
I welcome it. Some other weirdos might not, but I do. Just play whatever you want. I mean, and yeah, we. if I don't believe you about what the card does, we have these things. I, I'm reading stuff on, I'm reading these off of one of these things right now. Oh my God. Forgive me for I have sinned. I missed the Alabama Regional Tournament due to work. However, my outreach helped the regional exceed max seating. Good job, and hosted nearly 270 participants. I'm hoping by next year I'll participate at regionals. Now, that's really cool. Um, matter of fact, <laughs> uh, speaking of you know regional circuits and getting invites, you know play, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, my friend Cooper recently quit his job in order to get his invite and go to more. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, the Mad Lad actually did a total Giga Chad move, quit his job, and yeah, now he's got like several tournament tops already. <laughs> Somebody says the reason why OCG cards aren't legal in the TCG is, is solely because they have a different back. Now, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right at all. Um, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. They're the same size. They fit in the same sleeve. I mean, unless you're marking to where you know what cards are what, which is cheating. There shouldn't be any cheating going on. Um, it's about money, guys. Halt thy nice scrolling! Okay, okay, I'll halt, I'll halt. My sin to confess is that instead of cyber dragons, why, what? I dwell with the cyber darks. I love getting out cyber dark in dragon turn one and, and master duel back when it was legal. I played with the union carrier extra deck lock. Yeah, dude, I, I like making a cyber dark in dragon as well. Um, if you can make it, it's, it's a great boss monster to make. A 5,000 attack is intense, dude. I mean, five-headed dragon, right? <laughs> you got five-headed dragon that can't be killed by anything, really. <laughs> yeah, Cyber Dark and Dragon, if you can't make it, is is awesome. Um, yeah, like, I, I experiment with Cyber Darks and Cyber Dragons, uh, mainly to get uh, Cybernetic Horizon, because Cybernetic Horizon will allow you um, to search Cyber Dragon Core, which Cyber Dragon Core is the best card in Cyber Dragons. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I used to bring my play mats and Yu-Gi-Oh cards to the bathroom. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I used to bring my play mats and Yu-Gi-Oh cards to the bathroom and, and played Yu-Gi-Oh on the play mats. Like, talk about being like hard up for a place to play. Like, damn, playing in the bathroom, playing in the shitter <laughs> while I was on the can. It was a good way to pass the time when I did not have a smartphone. Fair enough. You didn't want to read the shampoo bottle. I guess whatever people used to. I don't know. <laughs> Please, I'm asking for you're forgiven. Like, like that reminds me of a of a of a Pantera story. I know. Uh, Pantera is one of my favorite bands of all time, and uh, the story is that Dimebag used to bring his guitar with him, so while he was taking a shit, he could be playing guitar, and he used to say that that's why his riffs were the shit. Yeah, fun, fun uh, Pantera story. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. I cannot tell if this is a sin or not, but I have recently gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh because I saw through Discord that one of my friends was playing Master Duel. Cool. While I have no intentions on playing anything modern meta nowadays, I'm starting to feel much more interested in Yugi Kaiba formats. Dude, I was just talking about that a second ago. Because decks can cost like 10 bucks and I don't need to read anything. Yeah, dude, and, and Yugi Kaiba format is much more like playing poker. Um, it's not like nowadays where like anybody can be playing anything you can get sacked at any time Like I mean the card pool is huge and you, and you really never know what your opponent's playing like even even at, uh, it's just dude Diversity can be a bad thing in, 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 in TCGs, okay? <laughs> like it just can be um, And it leads to uh, more scatterbrained formats what I call scatterbrained formats versus poker formats where it's more cerebral and um, everybody knows the card pool like like poker, like everybody knows the 52 cards in a poker deck. Everybody knows the the you know the uh, the Yugi Kaiba format card pool. There's no secrets. You know you can deduce what um, face down cards are and actually play a more uh, like I said cerebral game. And also like I was saying a minute ago, I, I play Yugi Kaiba format a lot. It's just it, it, it's for that reason. It's it's just super fun, um, and it's it's thought provoking and it's. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 less uh, it's less random. That's what it is. It's just less random. That's that's all it comes down to. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I went up against a guy in locals after the February ban list was put into effect, and he was running Sprite. The only problem was that he was still playing Sprite Elf, which was banned. Yeah. And when I told him it was banned, he didn't believe me, and I pulled it up on my phone, and he said it wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> you photoshopped that just for him. <laughs> he won because Elf was OP, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I forgot to tell the judge that he was playing banned cards. I still lay awake at night remembering the judge call. I forgot to call for... <laughs>
That's so funny. I don't know why I didn't call a judge at the time. It should have been the first thing. Yeah, dude, you're just... That's exactly what you should have done. Like, judge, he's playing banned cards. Dude, one time, I had a judge come over and tell me to put Lavalvo Chain up. I wasn't even playing it in a deck, you know, and it was banned. I wasn't even playing it in a deck. I had it in my hat as like a, like a joke or whatever. I had it like as a totem, just as a, as a joke, just because I love Lavalvo Chain and like, you know, people will carry totems around and I was like, memeing because I loved Lavalvo Chain and I like had Lavalvo Chain as a totem. And uh, they made me put the card up, even though I wasn't playing it in the deck. And and not me. The judge came over and was like, "I I know I know you. I know who you are. I know you're not cheating. It just, but I need you to put it up." And I was like, "Ah, oh, oh. but it's me. Okay, okay though. But yeah." <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Juice. For I have said I didn't have Duel Links on Steam for a long time, and now went back to it that I have a new laptop and found an account with a bunch of crappy decks I made when I was like 13 as well as having 576 dual orbs to get through. Why was I hoarding so many dual orbs? I have no fucking clue, but I guess that's a lot of XP to get what? Um, I played uh, Duel Links for like a minute, but like it was hard to pull good, good cards and uh, I didn't want to spend any money, so I gave up on it very, very quickly. I was like, this is this is a scam. This is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing this. <laughs> like you use enough of a scam as it is, dude. I'm not paying money for fake cards. Also, another confession is I probably come to this channel way more than I should to the point where it's like a sin in and of itself. <laughs> I guess I am the spirit of sin eater. Yugi Jesus forgives the sins while I eat them up. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really funny. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was starting to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I got a Salaman Great Structure deck, and not knowing what it was, I threw away the Ash Blossom that was in the deck as I, quote, didn't think it looked cool. Well, I agree that Ash has a big forehead and isn't exactly the coolest looking Yu-Gi-Oh card and actually invites a whole lot of weird people into the get you know, the lolly bait people, anyways, the lolly lovers into the game. Well, I agree that it's not the best looking Yu-Gi-Oh card and that you can land a plane on her forehead. Um, <laughs> man, it's still a good card. You gotta read your cards. Why can't Yu-Gi-Oh players read? <laughs> deleted user, why are you deleted? I'm still gonna read this. I play trap tricks so others are forced to endure the internal agony, the eternal agony that my existence provides. <laughs> Every duel I play with trap tricks is another chance to enlighten the human race. Oh, and I think we should bring GoFood back to three. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind GoFu with three, but you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of generic cards and, and playing old crap and making it good versus. You're cool! Don't be like that guy. That, that guy's never gonna get pussy ever. <laughs> but I love deck building in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I actually like deck building way more than playing. I love, like, optimizing old decks and, and getting them to their maximum potential. Even though I know they're not gonna be the best deck. I know the new stuff's always gonna be better. But I still love deck building and just pushing old decks to their limits. That's, that, that's part of the fun of the game for me. I think my... Boy, I, th I think mine should be unbanned, or all cards that could easily trigger Dark World effects should be unbanned. I'm gonna keep scrolling. I'll smite you later. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. This past week at Locals, I won with Flunder, but I only learned after that I made an illegal place throughout the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cards I have in the deck is Miss Val Valley Thunderbird, and I realized after the tournament that it isn't a winged beast monster, it's in fact a thunder monster. <laughs> I'm gonna add Small World so I can search Thunderbird. I, I also play three Trap Trick as extra copies of Featherstorm and D-Barrier. There are other options. I'm gonna play like Jack in the Hand and Warak, whatever that card is. I'm gonna call the deck Based Birds. I also play a bunch of Reaper targets in the extra Broken, Broken. I, I like Ghost Reaper. Um, it, too bad the formats, like, I mean, there's there's definitely like, you know, certain decks that the players are gonna be playing more often than others. Like right now, it's like Unchained and stuff. But like I said earlier, the, 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 the uh, format is, in comparison to old formats, um, and as Yu-Gi-Oh keeps going, it's going to keep getting more and more scatterbrained, so it's going to be harder. Um, unless, unless they just drop things that are just that much better to where people are only playing three decks again. Um, but it's hard to get, like, Reaper targets. It's hard to, um, uh, get, uh, yeah, it's hard to get, it's hard to get Reaper targets in your extra deck or get enough in your extra deck to cover everything these days. 
Um, I mean, I guess it's not too hard, but I, I think you guys know what I'm saying. You can, you can always encounter something random and then you don't have a single Reaper target. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, because back in late 2016 to early 2017, while I was getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I was playing a Neospatian deck against a friend's Ojama deck. They had completely set up the Ojama ground collapse lock on my field, and in order to win, I stacked my copy of Dark Hole onto the top of the deck. Oh no, that's cheating! <laughs> So I can draw it and make some plays. I did manage a win after that, but I can't help but wonder at what cost. Yeah, cheater, don't don't do that. But yeah, um, that, that getting locked out and playing against you know once again random stuff it is annoying and you can lose to it. But don't, don't cheat. Let them have their wins. Come on. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I was playing Cyber Dragons and I lost to Battery Men. Yeah, they're like Thunders, right? So you can't like Chimera Tech them. Uh, play Clockwork Knight and turn everything to machine and then Chimera Tech them. There you go. Not really a sin, but I figured you guys would get a laugh from the idiocy. Do go on. Dueled a new guy at Locals with my Phantom Knights and thought my deck was short a few cards. Turns out I didn't have a full deck, it was missing two cards. Luckily my brother had some red Eclipse sleeves on hand as well as some cards to round out the deck. But the fact that I went through a Locals tournament with a deck that was short a few cards is a bit embarrassing. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I mean, you, I mean, you might uh, put, a, put a couple cards in a, another deck, you know, because you only have you know, only those copies of that card. I then forget you moved it over or whatever. That, that's, yeah, that's happened. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I cheated and will soon sin again. No, no, don't do it. The sin I have committed that was I activated number 99 Utopia Dragonar's effect to summon Numeron Dragon to attack directly for game. If you didn't know, Dragonar doesn't allow you to attack it directly with other monsters the turn you activate its effect. My opponent didn't read the card, so I nuked him with Numeron Dragon for 13,000 damage. <laughs> The sin I will soon commit is I will be playing the Dragonar Numeron FTK that is played with the Master Duel but in real life tournaments in Denmark. Well, good luck with that. Don't cheat though. Stop it. Uh, lots, of, lots of cheating in today's uh, today's uh, confessions. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. I plan on playing Fire Fist FTK. There's a Fire Fist FTK? The next comment is how. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know there was one. <laughs> good luck. I mean, it sounds cool. I mean, yeah. Uh, what, what, what am I looking at? Oh, Yugi Jesus, I am not here for your forgiveness, but here to boast. There is a guy in my school who is quite the jackass, so I spammed him with the same message over and over again, and we'll keep doing it until the end of time. <laughs> he spams him with Yobama. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Bless us, Yugi Jesus. My friend group is blessing one of our friends. You are blessed already. You already asked. That's all you need is to ask. Do I even need to read anymore? <laughs> he hasn't been able to play with us recently and he feels left out. Well, that's good that you guys are helping him out. This friend is a dinosaur player, so the rest of us are surprising him. The uh, CR, the collector's rare, CR dinosaur stuff. So I think it's collector's rare dinosaur, CR dinosaur stuff. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the, the, I already got him three CR. Yeah, so it's like collector's rare, I think, right? Right? Fossil digs and two archosaurs and another has a third Archosaur and an Overactor. That's really nice of you. Like seriously, like uh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, it's, it's cool how uh, Yu-Gi-Oh will bring outsiders together. You know, I, I've, I've always liked that about the game. Matter of fact, uh, you know, after being homeschooled and stuff and then um, being, being put back into public school, that's how I made friends was uh, was through Yu-Gi-Oh. Like seriously, that's how I met um, some friends, like some people I'm still friends with to this day. This is a sin of which I am not ashamed. Ooh, bold words. <laughs> Anytime my opponent flips one of my monsters face down with Book of Moon or Eclipse because of the rule updates that states that any card flipped face down is no longer public knowledge, I refuse to tell them what monster stats are. You're not required to. It's just kind of a it's just kind of a dick thing to do. But you're yeah, you're, it's it's not against the rules. But um, also don't hide behind the rules. You know, don't 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 do that. Hiding behind rules is how people do bad things, right? Behold my sin! I still pray to many gods that graceful charity goes to one. And um, hi, hi. Graceful charity at one though. Ah, ah, eh. Uh, 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 that's a pretty sacky one-up card, man. Draw three, discard two. Lots of decks come to mind, including a lot of old decks. Pretty miss whatever, man. Uh, tier comes to mind, newer decks come to mind, dude. Whew, um, that's a... 
Yeah, no, that's that's I don't I think I think graceful charity might be perma banned, my dude. I think it might be perma banned. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, it's you again. It is you again. Man, okay. Because you I mean I can't help but read your stuff. You contribute some good stuff. Let's see what this one is. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I bought an in real life deck, virtual world, except I bought two call buys before checking the ban list. Call by the grave should be at three. That's gonna be my unpopular Yu-Gi-Oh opinion. I think the card should be at three. People be like, no way. Like, no, it, 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 it should be at three. I then checked and realized my deck will be legal, illegal with 40 cards and, di and didn't get enough card sleeves for the extra deck, meaning I need the, uh, the see-through sleeves for them that the cards come with meaning I probably couldn't go to attorney with it anyway. Still, I wasted my money on physical cardboard instead of sticking to my personal no spinning policy with the online games because I got a bit of money from the government when I turned 18. Basically, the sin is wasting money. That would be the advantage of playing online is that technically you don't have to spend a dime, <laughs> you know? As long as you have a device that you've already bought, you know, phone, computer, whatever, playing online means that uh, you don't have to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You can just play for free. Um, now, the extent of, on how well you can play is dictated by money still, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, in my opinion, if you are going to buy, and I think I've said this in this video, you know, if you are going to buy cards, they should be real cards, especially because you can resell those cards. You can't, you can't sell, I mean, I guess you could sell a Master Duel account if you want to, but, like, I mean, kind of like the old days when World of Warcraft was popular, people would like, like rank up World of Warcraft accounts and then sell those accounts. I mean, I guess that can go on. And Paul well, is going on a Master Duel, maybe, but uh, I still am just like, just just buy the real deal. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned while I was out on a first date. You didn't go on a date. Don't lie to me. That's another sin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had the random urge to buy some cards, so I bought one single pack of the newest Battles of Legend and opened it up immediately. After leaving the store, to my surprise, the pack had a 25th anniversary secret rare. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you got the uh, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. That's dope. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I've sinned! I have built Numeron Kaichu OTK to counteract the degenerate meta. <laughs> <laughs> like no, that's that's awesome. You're taking random stuff and, and like go win with it now. Go win with it. That's, that's, I, I like I like working on random decks, old decks. Um, you know, it's just once again, I, like I have like this duality about me where I like to work on old decks and stuff, but then I complain about how everything is scatterbrained. But like, yeah, I miss like rock paper scissors formats, but I also do like making old decks good. Uh, how I satisfy and how I rectify this is I just play old formats. I play competitively and I build old stuff at the same time. See what I'm saying? That's why I play old formats, among many other reasons. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, I have made a Numeron Karibo deck. What is with all the Numeron stuff? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, do I need to, like, reread those cards or something? Because I really can't remember what they do on the top of my head. <laughs> That's funny. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I have built Crooked Cook Exodia with Time Tearing Morganite. I feel like y'all are making things up now. I don't know what any of these cards are except for Exodia. Time Tearing Morganite. Crooked Cook Exodia. What is a Crooked Cook? What is that card? Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I have built Punk Bish Balkan FTK. Once again, I feel like you guys are making things up. Like, I just, I just, I, no. I, I, been, are you, are you all Eugene? This just all sounds like the ramblings of some kind of Eugene deck. That's, that's, that's what this sounds like. Oh my gosh. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, I don't know how to meme. <laughs> but forgive me, Yuki Jesus, I, have made, I may have sinned. The first part is using Virtual World deck versus my nephew's Mishmash deck. But the sin is possibly fudging the rules a bit. Oh no, that is cheating. That is a sin. Don't fudge the rules. I'll follow the rules for the most part. <laughs> the first was when I first tried summoning Zeus after attacking directly with the XCs with a thousand attack. And he said you can't because it didn't battle, so I put Zeus back in the extra deck and summoned it the next turn after battling a monster of his. Another was when he special summoned a monster and realized he lost because he summoned it in attack and said let's just say you summoned it in defense so he could defend himself. I still won the duel next turn because my brother said we were going out for a walk. Then, a walk then, I had Rageki in my hand but I was going to hold it and just let him get, let him get a comeback otherwise. 
Yuki Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I'm making a War Rock deck. That's a sin on its own. That deck is bad. It is based off of just the, turning the Middle East into a parking lot. <laughs> like, for no reason. But anyways, I'm making a War Rock deck mixed with the Bolt Star archetype to add power. I have a feeling it's going to blow up in my face at a point, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I, I guess I could scroll up and do one more from Bodki. It's a long one. I actually skipped over because I was like, dude, I've already read it a lot of years, but all right, let's do this one. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. In Master Duel, I feared the cash deck and never played and even despised tier. However, now that cash is out in a weaker form, and it's actually even weaker now since you posted this comment because of Rise Heart's ban now. And honestly, it's a lot of fun, whether it be uh, big, eye uh, big Eye coming in hard clutch or using the Danger Package with the cash level 4 to make Baguska. Man, Baguska, yeah, and, and, and Big Eye is just a classic, and it? it's just so good. It's been, been good since uh, the D-Ruler format. And Mind Hacker are going into Shangri-La and El Swarm Nightmare. I love El Swarm Nightmare, dude. <laughs> Evil Swarm Nightmare is awesome. The uh, two Danger cards and getting Fenrir of Shangri-La effect. During opponent's turn, the deck is as it stands right now in Master Duel. It's probably one of the most fun game experiences I've ever had. Well, that's good. Especially when no material Baguska into Zeus won me a duel versus Water Barrier. Statue Penguin with me on a thousand life points left after I Rageki. There's sweat going down my nose because these lights are hot. After I Rageki, their access code that they used because they were under Baguska the previous turn. Honestly, the sin is playing Kastira, but I really want to gloat about the, that win because they started with the god hand and ended on barrier statue i killed it it's so satisfying when they open really good like they're a peak board and you still break it i love when that happens it's so much fun like i don't blame you for bragging dude i i i love when that happens i killed it did a danger play into mothman they top deck maxi and i still won despite the only disruption that i had on the field besides the goose being an imperm turn one so i guess my sin is top decking like a god stalling, having fun with the meta deck, and beating penguins, which despite what I expected is actually a terrifying archetype to face. Well, that's awesome, dude. I'm glad you finally came around. Um, dude, and penguins, penguins are like decent. I mean, like, you can actually play like penguins, like water penguin, or like, yeah, and, and goats. It's actually a goat deck, too. It bounces stuff to the hand, you know, because you play uh, a penguin soldier and nightmare penguin and stuff. Yeah, penguins have been around for a long time, uh, believe it or not. Like, I, uh, if uh, it, it stems from, does it st yeah it stems from the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime actually yeah it stems from the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime and like um in, in like the um Battle City arc when there's like that break when they're in like the virtual world with Noah or whatever um yeah there's like one of the the big bosses that are playing like penguins yeah he's playing like Nightmare Penguin and stuff yeah it's, it's it's a deck that's been around for a long time and penguin cards are just they just happen to be good i mean i mean look at fluffle penguin right it's like the best card in fluffles besides dog <laughs> you know it's really really good but that's going to do it for today's confessions guys go ahead and leave me your confessions in my discord server once again i don't read them until i record these videos so i can give you guys my genuine reactions i stay the hell out of that channel on my discord server it's just for the confessions and yeah they just sit there until i make these videos <laughs> and i read all of the ridiculousness that you guys come up with or you know admit to <laughs> but anyways guys be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe subscribe <laughs>